Hello and welcome to Capital Ideas TV. I'm Mark Bunting. Agriculture probably isn't the first industry we associate with technological disruption. Yet farmers' fields are quickly becoming places driven by data-gathering devices. In fact, the average farm is expected to generate more than 4 million data points each day by the year 2050. All that information will help farmers make smarter decisions and ultimately boost crop yields. This is one of the technologies set to transform farm life. It's called the CX-6, and it's the brainchild of ag tech firm Clean Seed Capital. The CX-6 is a precision seeding vehicle that allows farmers to plant seeds and dispense fertilizer more quickly, easily, and accurately. A mobile software platform gives farmers detailed analysis of their fields so they can customize and maximize every square inch. Clean Seed Capital's technology has made believers of industry veterans like Gary Anderson, who turned ag growth into a billion dollar company. He is now Clean Seed's president. The company now needs manufacturing scale and it's gaining it by acquiring equipment maker Harvest International. This M&A play recently caught the eye of Capital Ideas TV contributor Fabrice Taylor, who now has Clean Seed as one of his top picks. When that happens, the stock's going to pop. It's cheap right now. But if this deal happens, when it's announced, when it happens, Gary tells me it's not a question of if, it's when, uh, this stock's going to multiply over time. Clean Seed is currently putting the finishing touches on this acquisition, and the next few weeks will be busy ones for the company. CEO Graham Lempereer joined us for a dive inside the deal, what it means for Clean Seed, and his plan to take on the likes of John Deere. So Graham, Clean Seed Capital, the Smart Seeder, the, the CX-6, uh, tell us about this technology and, and how it's uh, disruptive. Uh, the disruptive nature of this technology is it micromanages uh, variable rate control on every foot of the field. So it takes it from a broad brush seed placement of the existing equipment in the prairies to a refined, digitally controlled, uh, large printer, if you will, that puts down exactly the nutrients you need in exactly the right spot, up to six products. So it really turns it from a mono environment into a high definition delivery environment. Now, uh, as far as uh, pushing forward with this, uh, you are in the process of buying Harvest International out of the States, uh, and you say this is a transformational deal for you. Uh, it's a natural fit. How come? Well, we're in the cedar market, which is the small grain business in uh, Canada. And by going into the U.S., we're now in the planter business. So we basically can cross over both borders so we can now handle small grains and large grains. And the planter market in the United States is primarily corn and bean. And the company that we're purchasing has the infrastructure, the capability to manufacture so we can control our own fate with regards to manufacturing and now cross-pollinate our intellectual property and technologies onto both platforms which gives us the ability to capture both sides of the market. We'll be the first in the industry in 25 years to do that. That's saying a lot. Yes. Now, as far as financing, uh, Farm Credit Canada, FCC, has given Clean Seed Capital a, a real endorsement, $9.2 million loan. I understand their uh, process is quite rigorous. So uh, what does that say about uh, Clean Seed, the fact that FCC said, yes, uh, we, we want to lend you money? I think it's a good endorsement. Um, the government's been supporting us all the way along with different grants and so forth from the early days. And um, they've been very supportive and watching our growth, studying our results from the farm. And uh, FCC, we went through a very rigorous due diligence process on the U.S. asset acquisition because it's a cross-border. So they did an extensive due diligence process on the infrastructure, the building, uh, the assets that we have, and also the benefits of what this can do for Canada. Uh, because planters are starting to move north as well. So having them involved is a good endorsement in our view because uh, it is a rigorous uh, due diligence process and I consider it a, a, a good endorsement lead order for us to uh, move towards closing this transaction. And Graham, what other financings do you have in the works? Uh, we're currently financing terms uh, to close the harvest transaction. Uh, that'll be coming shortly. Um, and uh, we expect to close near end of month early part of April to uh, get this uh, business on its feet. As far as intellectual property and, and patents that you have uh, with Clean Seed and, and through Harvest, uh, what are we talking about? Uh, Clean Seed initially put its patents together on the ability to micromanage uh, multiple products over the opener. Very extensive portfolio. It's worldwide. Uh, the majority of the patents have been issued. Uh, what I like about the uh, Harvest uh, technology and the business 
is that also comes with a portfolio in the uh, um, space of planting. And they've developed very unique components to the iron side of the business that we can leverage into our portfolio as well. So it expands our protection base, both in seeding and planting. So you've got a technical uh, metering technology support structure, uh, plus you've got the iron side support structure with IP. And the IP portfolio, we've spent millions of dollars. One of our board of directors is a senior partner at Field Law, who is uh, an engineer by trade as well. And uh, we've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort to make sure these patents are sound. And Harvest has done the same. So the collective groupings is uh, a very significant IP portfolio. As you know, investors, uh, they like to hear about growth prospects. And in your investor presentation, you lay it out there, uh, revenue projections for a couple of years out, EBITDA projections. So uh, give us a, a flavor of that. Uh, the first year, uh, once we close, uh, the first year reports will be north of $10 million. Uh, for the first year as Harvest is just selling row units and frames at this time. Um, in a very short order we'll be putting on our metering technology, our software technology, so we will be an OEM provider of planters and we expect to ramp that up by twice that uh, within the first season. Um, we're, we've been integrating lean manufacturing principles already. Uh, we've been integrating plans for how to put our metering systems in place so we're a whole goods operator. So it'll go from what we call the Harvest Classic line into the Smart Plant line very quickly. And you think it'll be cash flow positive this year? Yes, it will. Right. Now, uh, one obvious question uh, when looking at your uh, technology uh, as far as applications is, is the hemp sector. So uh, have you had questions from that industry and is that something you're, you'd be interested in? Uh, we've been asked about it. Uh, we've currently been trialing our new singulation meter and a multitude of small grains from canola to mustard and actually hemp. Uh, this machine is very advanced in improving yields in all crops and hemp will be no different. I'm curious about, and I'm sure investors are curious about uh, the overall sector because they're, they're looking at you and they're thinking, well, isn't Deer & Co and other companies very dominant uh, in the agriculture space with, uh, uh, with heavy machinery? Uh, so, so what's your strategy as far as building out the company, but also uh, knowing that uh, the deers of the world and others, Case, for example, may be looking at you as a possible uh, takeout. Um, we've always thought we're a possible takeout target, but we've built this business as a going concern to disrupt the space. And we've made sure that we've put all the pieces in line to operate as a going concern. Should something come along that there's a, a benefit for an uh, alliance of some nature or an acquisition, we'll evaluate that at the time for the shareholders. But our process right now is to demonstrate, which we have, and proven that our technology is cutting edge and disruptive in nature. And um, we'll see how things unfold now that we're in the planter market, which is a direct competing uh, platform for the major U.S. entities, as that's their bread and butter. Graham, you say you like surrounding yourself with smart people. Gary Anderson is one of those. He ran ag growth for quite a while turned it into more than a billion dollar company. He's your president. You've got Colin Rush uh, as the COO, uh, has a deep history and experience in the agriculture sector as well. So uh, tell us about what that means for the company to have that kind of endorsement from people like that who want to work for Clean Seed. I think it's key. Um, management's everything. And I believe in surrounding yourself with the best people that you can. Uh, Gary Anderson believes in what we're doing. He's invested his own capital. Uh, he's uh, kindly accepted the role as president and his expertise in streamlining manufacturing and un the understanding of the ag industry is vast and he really has been instrumental in helping us get this uh, plant and plan uh, ready to go to grow the business quickly. Uh, Colin Rush has been in the business his entire life. Uh, he worked as a senior executive for Case and John Deere ran JCB for Canada. Uh, he's been with me now for almost five years, full time in the last four. Uh, he's in, instrumental in bringing Rocky Mountain to the table and various other things. Uh, our board of directors is very strong. We recently put on Jim Walker, who was as, uh, vice president of Case, who ran North America, took it from a, five, uh, from a billion dollar business uh, revenue in the seeding market, planting market to five. Extremely qualified individuals and I uh, enjoy their company because their knowledge base is vast in the space. And lastly, Graham, what's your message to investors who are looking at their story and deciding whether they want to get in? 
Uh, this is a disruptive technology play. Um, it's a proven technology with a strong patent portfolio. We now have assets, infrastructure to go into production, and we all have to eat. And at the end of the day, it's not a trend. Uh, this is a business that uh, uh, is critical in the farming industry. It's the most valuable time of crop production, and we believe we have the most cutting edge technology to maximize yields globally uh, for food production, and it's early stages for the share price um, and now is the time to get in because this uh, is a transformational event for the company and uh, we expect with our management infrastructure, IP and sales distribution network that's coming together that this will be a very fast curve uh, to growth.